Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Limbus Company. We're back. I clicked the wrong one. That's all right. Oh. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, it's a good thing I clicked on that, apparently. <laughs> cool. Okay, hold on a minute, because that's going to change our plans, because now we're going to go extract something. Anywho, hope that you all are having a nice day so far. Nice. I wonder if we can buy anything. 27, 21, 12, 48, all right, 27, okay, 12, 48 again, okay, gonna be a big fat no, that's all right, back to what we were originally gonna do, it's time to get on with this fight, I think we have a pretty good chance. What are our options? Swarm of maggots, okay. Okay. So these are all the same. A swarm of maggots were the first thing we saw on the next floor. Then with a golden flash, we're greeted with a blurry sky ringing with sounds of cannons and shouts. Gregor's unstable voice let me know that this was a battlefield, okay. Think a little bit more than that let us know, but maybe that's just me. Sorry, I was grabbing my glasses. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Everything's wobbling. It would appear that the psychogenic pressure is rising. But you should be fine. I think I once had an unsettling night. Uh, I think this actually might be Gregor. I think I once had an unsettling nightmare. Maybe I'm still in one, even now. In this dream, there are only two colors in the room where I stand. The blue covering every wall and the dangling dot of red. I know how to get out of here too. All I had to do was stretch out my arm and cut the hanging apple. People in blue coats seem to think I failed to understand that. They would come in several times a day and explain it to me over and over. Unfortunately for them, that wasn't the part I struggled to understand. When I finally gave up thinking about it, and the sliced apple fell to the floor, the door was opened. I don't remember what drove me to do it. Maybe I was exhausted mentally. Maybe I thought to resign myself to it. In either case, what I do remember is my desire to break free from the nightmare. You finally did it. I knew you could. The surgery was successful after all. You just have to keep it up. Chop up the apples in front of you. Simple, isn't it? Oh, right. Happy 15th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> a nightmare I escaped through renunciation and re resignation. 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 It's fine. One day, as I awoke from my unsettling dreams, 
I had found myself transformed into some hideous pest. I cut apples in half. Some were okay. Some were hard, some crumbly, some were soft, some sappy. The sugary smell made me sick sometimes. At some point I realized something. I thought I woke up from the dream. But I was still right in the middle of that nightmare. Alright, pretty deep, bro. Pretty deep. Time to go fight some probably bug things. How did I know? Okay. Alright, team. Kick ass. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting the shit kicked out of us. Uh. Okay, that guy's staggered. That guy's not attacking us. Okay. Okay. Good hits. Good kill. Good hit. Good hit. A great job, Gregor. I love you. You're amazing. Best man on the team. Okay. Uh, we really want the greens. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring me the next ones. Oh. Interesting. So, we actually have another fight, but then we have a chill-out room. In the battlefield, we fight soldiers with body parts of insects just like Gregor. Couldn't tell where... Uh, this was, or who they were, but I got the feeling that this was a product of the Golden Bad's influence. Alright. Easy. Still in a battlefield. It's the same place as before, though something is different about it. There's a strong tug at Heathcliff's coat from behind. Are you out of your minds? Get to shelter now! You'll age rapidly if exposed to that bomb's blast! The nest next to ours turned into a nursing home. They can't even walk without walking sticks. Hold on. Isn't he the same guy we just... It's not a problem, because Manager Gregor is with us. He doesn't suffer side effects like the rest of us, and he can regenerate his arm too. He was operated on by none other than Herman, our most skilled director. A hero shouldn't be on rear guard. I'll give you a ride. What the hell? Get away from me. Four pairs of wings emerge from his back, clicking and, twinch and twitching. Almost a twinkling. Why are you running? You should raise G-Corp's banner and take the lead on the front lines. I... I never wanted any of this. Not the procedure, nor the war. Take the lead. Take to. Toma's mouth opens unnaturally, and a pair of long antennae begin to grow from his face. Ugh, we gotta fight them again? My stomach is gonna turn. What is that display of weakness? 
Do you wish to be punished for your insubordination? I think we should run here. <laughs> An excellent plan, manager. You know when to strike and when to withdraw. The hell is her deal? Uh, it's, it, it gets worse every single time. I'm going to keep saying that because it seriously does. Retreat is not an option. I don't get it. I heard every employee under the corporation had modifications, but it can't have been this foul. What we see here may differ from actual accounts. The path was opened by Gregor's feelings rather than his memories. This is how he felt in his heart about his own allies. Did all the employees in your wing receive the augmentation procedure? Most did. Was it done with their consent? That's so... Did the people in L Corp consent to offering themselves up to abnormalities? That's... I heard that was written on the contract. We were never properly informed, though. They said such routine procedures should be skipped for efficient management. That we should face the fear. Hey, face the fear, build the future, right? In the end, anyone who joined the corporation agreed to it, knowingly or not. Can guess how it went for us, then. Okay. Time for another fight. Okay. Oh yeah, we still have all those effects. I, for some reason, thought they wouldn't still apply, but apparently they definitely do. Okay, let's chill out for a second, though. Sure. I just remember what has the highest chance of winning. That's all I care about. We have a uh, rest point coming up, but that was a lot of damage. Okay, definitely green. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Make it happen. Big hits, big hits. Love, love to see it. And we got a, wow, this is gonna be a ton of damage. Oh, it doesn't actually stack any higher than that. Fuck it, do it anyways. I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> Tons of damage, lay it on him. 28, that's huge. Oh my God. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. That was so much damage, that's insane. Alright, well, nicely done, team. I love, I love the hustle. You're doing great work. Okay, there's so many things over here. In the battlefield, we fight soldiers with body parts of insects just like Gregor. I couldn't tell where this was or who they were, but I got the feeling that this was a product of the Golden Bow's influence. Okay. Let's take, a, take a breather. What's the delay, Yuri? Give me a second, please. The gas mask fell off my bag. I don't see it serving any practical purpose now. You're only weighing yourself down. I mean, it's... I as a memento. You indulge in the most pointless activity in the world, and you aren't even from Encorp. Tie it the other way. Sorry? The knot. 
it'll come loose again if you tie it that way. There's a sailor's knot I learned on the boat. It'll teach you how to, I'll teach you how to do it back on the bus. Oh, thank you. What now? Since when were you so friendly? Yuri, you know what? Why don't you join our company while you're at it? Uh, me? Fuck. I think she just said that. I know, I know. We need to get the okay from Virgilius or his superiors and all that, but a little suggestion doesn't hurt. Hmm. I wonder. She's 100% going to die. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I have, I've been thinking, you know, it's been a little inkling of a suspicion, right? It's been building up for a little while now. Now that we're starting to divulge some emotional attachments to her with the other sinners, this woman is not making it out of this dungeon. I don't know what's going to happen, but she is going to die. Plus, pink hair makes a perfect mascot to represent this. Come on. Won't you give it some thought, please? <laughs> a mascot? Here, I made a smile for the first time, albeit faintly. She's not living. She's not living. I, I thought that there was hope for her when she was just a nuisance. I was like, you know, maybe she will make it out. No, they're wanting her to do things. She's not making it through. This symbol here. Question mark is an event. Hmm. I guess I'll do it. If it's the same dialogue, we can just skip it. I'm interested, though. Oh, God. You hear a faint voice. Please help. Do you follow the sound, or... We're on a project and get a gift. A soldier who was crushed under rubble, gasping in agony. Please just kill me. It hurts too much. We can't ignore this person, who will be ordered to bring the soldier to peace. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. Fuck yeah. Don Quixote. Love it. Love to see it. The soldier's life was delivered to a coup de grace by the knife. The human rhythm that rose from the blade soon ceased, and the soldier was eased into eternal rest. All right, what do we get? Shoddy dressing. Thank you, Don Quixote. All allies gain 10% mastery defeat. That's amazing. Glad we went back. Okay, well, let's get another gift. Toma, the youthful soldier, greets us as though this is his first time seeing us, and our surroundings are making less and less sense as the Sakurai review just passed. Okay. If this is another event, Give me something good. The war was over. Yeah, my doppelganger was still holding a silly pose with a confident look in his face. Hmm. <sighs> That's not the kind of face I'd make. Though. Gotta give it to him for making the hair on my arm look as grotesque as it is real. Whose job was this? I've grown fond of humor. Being consumed by the nightmare for so long must have made me crave liveliness. Those scum from G Corp should all be sent to the gallows. Someone murmurs, spitting on the floor. I could tell what they were speaking towards without even looking. Knowing that... I felt nauseous. Sir, are you alright? Hey, you okay, babe? You don't look so well. I was just in the subway. What hell are you blathering about? Greg, we're still on the battlefield. Gregor groped his pockets uh, with stumbling hands, looking for a cigarette out of habit, but soon stopped. 
dawned on him as it did me. All the sinners seem to have realized it now. Toma is going to grab us and give us a warning any second now. Are you? Look, Toma, I'm starting to get sick of your pickup lines, so I'll say it once. If we're not out of our minds, and the gauging bomb ain't gonna hit us. No. Instead of elaborating, he points up. I need help. I don't want to die. Toma was crushed to a... <laughs> Toma was crushed to a pulp right before our eyes. Where the fuck are these hands and legs coming from? There's only one thing to say in a situation like this. Run. <laughs> All troops retreat. Oh, we must up everything we can to run, but the airborne hand is ever persistent. It shows no signs of letting up. Oh, we're gonna get turned into pancakes. Got any uh, bright ideas, smart one? I'm listening. There are too many variables to consider in the fathom of the ego. I can't be hasty with the judgment. There is no cause for hesitation. A true hero succumbs to no hardships. Uh, I don't think I want to recover a flattened body. Oh, sorry, Dante. Didn't mean it that way. It was tempting to say something back to her. But I figured now was the time to keep my mouth shut so everyone could focus on running. How valiant. Okay. Still thinking, are you? Eh? Well, are you? Miss knows it all. If you're asking for an immediate solution, then yes, I've yet to come up with one. The only thing I can say for certain is that our objective is not nearby. Dante would have responded strongly otherwise. Me? <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, are you serious? He the fur on his brows when he snapped the unhelpful savant. But a sudden close shave of the massive palm made him focus his energy on his legs rather than his mouth. I can run forever. All I have to do is click a button. <laughs> Gregor? Oh, hey, what? Why the hold up? Uh, I think I see now. This world is a product of my mind. Gregor took a breather and looked up at the sky. We shouldn't run away from that hand. Did you finally get the crackers or what? Gregor, are you sure? My own free will never played much of a role in my life. It only makes sense that resisting is meaningless in this reflection of my mind. In that case, Letting the inevitable happen might be the answer. Are you all serious? It's not like there's any other way. We're all exhausted. Besides, look at that. Paint on its nails. You don't see that kind of polish just anywhere. If that hand belongs to who I think it does, she will not stop chasing us. Faust, you said there's a path in my heart, right? Then I can tell you this for sure. It's about to hit a dead end. Yeah, the nightmare of the road. Never once strayed from that woman's control. 
Who is Gregor talking about, and what does he mean by a nightmare? <laughs> as much as I wanted to ask him. Ugh, oh, might as well. Soon enough, the giant hand casts a shadow over us, descending. Just before it reached us, it stopped to hold us in its grasp. Everything went dark. I felt a disorienting nausea of being lifted into the sky. While everyone was suffering from it, Faust and I were the only ones standing strict. I noticed the battlefield had changed to somewhere familiar. Oh, I guess we're home. Home free, baby. Home free. Just kidding. While, tra <laughs> while traversing a narrow passage, a swarm of cockroaches crawled in the way. The rustling visage is almost revolting. You walk past them, or... Yeah, we definitely walk past them. Gregor loses a lot of SP. Begin a combat win to gain an ego gift. And, yeah, uh, sorry, Gregor, but... Eey. Gregor turned away from the carnage discontent. Soon after, a crowd of angry bug soldiers came charging for us. Gregor takes 20 SP damage combat encounter. We get a festered fragment if we win. That's all right. Not gonna lie, Gregor. I think you might need to sit this one out. Who'd we sub in? Don Quixote, I think... I think this is your time to shine. You know, look. It's a sign. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a sign. Gregor, you're powerful. You're strong, buddy. I, I love you to death, but... I think it's I think it's someone else's time to take, take a step in. You know what I mean? Good hits, good hits all around, as far as I can tell. Nice. Okay. Yeah, good hits. Team is just killing it right now. Oh my god. Speaking of oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, nothing even stands a single inkling of a chance against us. That's insane. Oh my god, they're getting turned to paste. At the start of the turn, I only have 50% of it or more. Fuck. At the start of the turn, allies with 50% or less HP. Okay, that's pretty good. Can't complain too much about that. Um, Emma greets us. This is the first time seeing us. Uh, is this the first time seeing us? Okay. Um, well, there's another fight if we go this way, so I'm doing that. No. Yes. Gregor, I'm sorry, but you're out. You're out for the time being. I cannot justify putting you in. Alright. Kick the shit out of him. Win rate. Change my mind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Team, you're killing it. Okay, that sucked. That's alright, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. All of them except for one are staggered. Let's... Yeah, let's do that. So we know we'll get a lot of damage done, but... Good kill. Good kill. Okay. Okay. Good. Nice. Great.
Ooh, okay. Uh, fuck it up. Great. Easy. Love to see it. Good hustle, team. Good hustle. Oh, it just takes us to the same place. Okay, so that was basically a fight for no reason. It's alright, though. Okay. May or may not be another dialogue. I didn't think so. Okay. Make me proud, team. Make me proud. I don't... Oh, that's an evade. Yeah, I don't want an evade. Sure. Do it. Fuck it. Who cares, man? I'm in it for... I'm in it for the, the most damage possible. Alright, let's see it. Nice. Love to see it. I have not seen Don Quixote's. I would like to see. I want to see Don Quixote use her thing. Oh god. Okay, I'm loving it already. Okay. <laughs> yep, that was amazing. Oh my god. 58 damage? That's fucking crazy. Wow, you might be better than Gregor, not gonna lie. Holy shit, that was insane. 58 damage. That's crazy. That's crazy numbers. Alright, take us to the rest area. Alright, this is it. Massive hand from Gregor's memories took us back to the containment unit. Getting out of the battleground doesn't mean the end of the war, however. The Golden Bow is still waiting to be claimed. Sorry, Gregor, you're still not coming. I think I may have found your replacement. <laughs> Dante, something about this containment unit seems different from the others, does it not? Yeah, it really does. Wait, is this? That was a really, really short amount of words for a very long sentence. Yes, that is most likely where we can find the abnormality in which the Golden Bow has taken root. Uh, they didn't manage to come this far, huh? Say, Gregor? When we go back to the bus, can I teach Karan how to use a map? Hmm? She's not making it out. She's not making it out. Yeah, sounds good. I'm sure she'll like it. I doubt that. Sinclair shook his head. The dry rushed afterward. <laughs> she is not. She is not making it. Why? Should we... Oh, it's not happening. I'm gonna look like such an idiot if she lives. But I'm telling you, she's going to die. Ah, oh, nice. I have a place to go back to. All right. Let's see. What kind of horribly disastrous death is she gonna is she gonna suffer? It has to be. Uh, I I don't know. It has to be something bad though. There's no way she makes it out of here alive. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Call me a fool, if you will. I have played enough of these games to know when you start getting attached to a character, it, their time is nigh, all right? And I can't wait to prove myself right. 
Good hit. Okay, that sucks. Good hit. Wow, good hit. Eep. Big hit. Holy shit. Yeah, not very much. That's alright, though. All we care about is overall damage. We're getting our asses beat. We're getting our asses beat. An apple is kicking our ass. An apple. A fruit. Is kicking the shit out of my whole team. An apple. All right, I'm letting the computer take over for a minute here. Right, good rolls. Definitely helps when we roll well. Okay. It's about to get staggered, it looks like. Oh, big hit. All right, beat the fuck out of it. Okay, big hit. Big hit. Good. Oh my god. Don Quixote is a fucking beast. That's it. The body's apple, uh, the apple's body broke and the raging fruit still grew. Could the golden bow really be in there? I'll go check it. This is it. This is literally it. I'll go check it out here, he said to the others. Oh no, it's not happening. It's not happening. This is not happening. The center of the bug is our seems nervous about this. Does he want to go with her, perhaps? You can't just send Yuri out there alone. Let's send her be able to keep her safe. Don Quixote, I trust you. I trust you a lot. Oh, you're perfect. The first cracked shell suddenly began to rattle as if it would jump at any moment. Don Quixote managed to escape, but <laughs> it seemed Yuri couldn't. The brute's flesh melted to form a new body. Don't feel too guilty about it. One life, one lost life is better than two. <laughs> yeah, Mali devoured Yuri in one bite. She was gone without a trace. I can save the other sinners, but there's nothing I can do about Yuri. Without a word, Gregor hacked and slashed away at the abnormality. As if he expected to find Yuri unscathed by slicing the apple open. Well, maybe she lives through the end of this, but I know she doesn't. <laughs> I know she's not going to. This is it. This is her end. A fucking idiot. I'll get it. Yeah, famous last words, especially in Lobotomy Corp. You should know better than that. But I, Especially when you've worked here. If I've worked in this place, I know better than to go near any of these fucking abnormalities. All we care about is win rate. Damage will come naturally as we win. Okay, that sucks. Okay, that sucks. Don Quixote, big hits. Oh my god. I didn't even know a critical hit was a thing. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. But either way, I didn't remember. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. Oh my god. That was a lot of damage on one of my guys. Eep. Eep. Damage. It's not hitting us, so hit it. Big hit. Big hit. Okay. Could have been better, but that's all right. Win rate. Go. Okay. Ugh, why is it always you guys? Why is it always you guys that take the brunt? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's all right. 
Oh my god, eight health remaining? Jesus Christ. Okay, you're dead. You're all dead. This is it. This is the end. Don Quixote, finish the job. Oh my god, Fauci, you're amazing. Don Quixote. Fuck it. Fuck it. Do 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 it. It's six damage. Okay, never mind. Uh, Twenty three damage. It's okay. Well, that's that's a big roll. That's got to be more, right? Forty nine is pretty good. Down to fifty three. Thirty one. All right, we have to do thirty one damage. Get in there for damage. That's it. That's all we care about. Big hit. Big hit. Just kill this thing. Just kill this thing. Good job. Amazing. You did. You did me proud, team. You did me proud. Oh, the mass of maggots fell apart in a hail of silent screams. Beyond that, I see a wave of radiant gold light. Is that the golden bow? Just as I begin to approach it, the apple begins to tremble. So, Hoxie, Limbo's company is ocean bundle. Banana? Excuse me, are you the people from Limbus Company? Yuri, you're okay? Even though I had clearly seen it about her, I couldn't stop myself from asking. If you go back to the bus, can I tell you how to tell you? When we go back to the bus, can I tell you how to... Then I saw a glimpse of the pink locks of hair that Rodia took a liking to. Oh no, if there's another part, we're fucked. Okay, if there's another part, we're, we're dead. Yuri's head stood motionless, facing Gregor. Her face was upright. However, the Yuri we knew and accompanied was already was always hunched over. She slouched at all times, as if it, as though it were her sole surviving obligation to carry the wills of her late colleagues. Given that, I can warn him with confidence. Uh, that isn't Yuri, Gregor. <laughs> it's literally a head on a. <laughs> I don't know how there was any confusion to begin with, but okay. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Gregor accepts it calmly. And he then outstretches his arm, sends it flying toward Yuri. Yet, it soon stops traveling. I didn't want to die. Cut her down, Gregor. I don't know if this is the right thing to do as the manager. <laughs> None of us wanted to die. I had to shout at Gregor now to stop him from being ruined. Cut it now. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> this, this is the uh, verminous arm stop right before reaching the civilian's throat. I pulled it, I pulled it against it with all my might, but it wouldn't budge. <laughs> Please spare me. I'll give you all my money. <laughs> Let the woman go, otherwise I'll stop you by force. My arm, cut off the arm. Oh, my arm, cut off the arm now. This is your final warning. Release her now or... Just do it. As the dismembered arm falls to the ground, she slides down the wall gasping. However, peace doesn't last long. The arm starts regenerating from its twitching stump. Are you all right, sir? No, oh, stay away from me. Don't come any closer. The recurrent arm rushes forward as if it remembered the pain it suffered mere moments ago. You have my utmost respect, Manager Gregor, sir. You really shouldn't. I didn't fight in the war because I wanted to. What else am I supposed to do? Is it so wrong that I survived? Just 
Just live on, please. It's not like we got ourselves into this mess voluntarily. That's gotta be the guy from earlier, right? The other guy that was with her. Having come to this end only to be stopped just before your labor bears fruit. How regrettable. Well, we'll take it. Opportunities left unclaimed will only become null and void. Here his head fell to the ground. It wasn't Gregor to do it. Here his mouth opens and lets something out. It was a tree branch radiating a bright golden glow. Seeking the bow, were you? Oh, I have no idea who these, uh, these people are. Never mind, I was wrong. You. It's a bit small, isn't it? The person that operated on Gregor. I'm Herman. We'll be seeing each other often. The reason being. We need those bows, and you are capable of finding them. You won't die, but we will kill you. Robin nudges Yuri's head with her foot. It won't be now, though. We'll take good care of the golden bow you found. Ubo, my- I don't know why I'm doing Gregor's voice. Ubo, my dear compatriot, is this the path you chose? Indeed it is. Only few remain now. Good lord, everybody knows everybody, apparently. It's been a while, brother. Yeah, it's literally just everybody knows everybody, I guess. Do you know how filthy your clothing smells? If only your family were here to see your state. Yeah, it's literally just everybody meeting everybody. Some reunion this has turned into. How are you treating your present, my son? I didn't invest with you just to see you in such a mess. Never asked for this. Not once. You should at least un finish unwrapping what I gave you. That little arm isn't all there is to it. Alright now, that's enough greetings. Man who introduced himself as Jia Huan clapped twice, and everything went dark. Like waved from along the nightmare, the dawn, early dawn greets you. After some, it's so funny to me. <laughs> this insinuates that I, there's either one of two options here, right? Somehow, this clapping has created perpetual darkness, okay? Or all of Lobotomy Corporation is filled with those clap on, clap off lights, okay? And I'm choosing to believe it's the second option. All right, after some time passed, and I thought this would be an easy enough mission for you. After allowing a golden bow to be taken right before your eyes, you had the gall to walk in with your faces up. Have I overestimated you? Why don't you give me an excuse, Miss Faust? As it turns out, immortality wasn't the solution to everything. Anything to say for yourself, Dante? There's another group going after the Golden Bow. You had to have known this, why didn't you warn me? They're asking about the other faction that sought the Golden Bow. Best placidly replayed my words to Virgilius. Don't tell me. Are you holding me responsible? Tell me then, Dante. Why would we bother sending 12 whole combatants to a place with no threats? After hiring fixers to guide them too. 
Fuck, I've skipped like three of these. Okay, hold on. That's enough of that, manager, bud. It's my fault. If you want someone to blame, I'm right here. How fascinating. Built a sense of com uh, camaraderie between you already. Well, I do suppose it's not bad to cover up for each other since you're all in the same bus. Just know that sticking up for one another doesn't make your doesn't make up for your incompetence. We got a call. After Team Special Ops Section 4 has just gone underground for their job. That sounds about right. Someone has to salvage the ego and abnormalities left there. Real shame that the essence was lost, though. This is getting excessive. Failure is a common thing on the battlefield. If an objective wasn't met, you devise another plan and redeploy. Are you sure it wasn't your expectations that were too high for our first mission? I will have you know that our manager's performance was nothing short of outstanding. <sighs> I suppose we'll leave it at that. You're not entirely wrong. Certainly. There seemed to be an uncanny tension between Virgilius and Faust. But right now, I had neither the energy nor the willpower left in me to get inquisitive. The bus reeked with blood and all the stains, uh, the bus reeked of blood with all the stains and gore on our outfits, yet none of us tried to open the windows. No one had the urge to have a chance at, had to, fuck, none of us. It's not even what it says. No one, none of us. <laughs> I'm not gonna read it. All of us just sat in the place, dwelling on silence. Good lord, I'm having a stroke. Gregor had the most defeated look of them all, staring out the window. Then he suddenly went to hang something from his pocket near the windshield of the bus. Bug guy, what did you put on Mephi's head? Memento. Something that belonged to the two. I had a sister, just about Yuri's age. That's all there is. I considered giving him a pep talk, but that quickly dissipated. Ishmael wore a grieving look. Sinclair was quietly weeping, and Rodia let out a stress sigh. As if they couldn't offer him, uh, let out a stress sigh. If they couldn't offer him any encouragement, what good would I do? Karon, won't this get in your way? Karon is fine. No, Karin will be fine. <sighs> 그래, All right, let's hit the road. Vroom, vroom. vroom, vroom. All right, the bus slowly grumbled forward. The gas mask hanging by the windshield waved like an ornament. Nice. All right, I think that's all of chapter one. Oh, shit's happening. This is credits? No offense, but why am I watching credits one chapter into the game? <laughs> Makes me feel like it's the end. I that can't be the end. The basic end. Uh okay, people have leveled up apparently. Cool. No, it's not the end. Why would you play the credits after the I'm not gonna look, whatever. I'm just gonna roll with it. Before I forget, like last time. Give me my motherfucking rewards, please. Okay. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I upload daily at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. As always, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next episode. So long, everybody.